Hello and welcome to the End Times CCG and Darius Comic School. And today we will look at the finished artwork of Mrix the Star Ranger. Of some future artwork which I have here. Wait a second, just spoiling. Um, I show you a bit of colors, alternative art, how to paint with acrylics and why this helped me paint a big picture. So, um, I'm not saying I'm a good artist, but I think I have learned a few things along the way. Um, not my best art, but I definitely tried. The inks looked a bit better than the finished coloring. I don't know, maybe it's the light in, uh, maybe if it's less bright, it looks a bit better. Hmm? It looks a bit better, maybe. Um, Mrix the Star Ranger. So, um, I planned to draw this for the Chaos Galaxy TCG and for your boy Zack. And your boy Zack is something different. It's the guy from Comics Matter. Okay, for Zack from the Chaos Galaxy. And he made a contest, um, a fan art contest, not just for fan art, but you create a card. And I was thinking, man, wouldn't it be cool, like a Kurt Russell kind of type from Death Proof, The Hateful Eight, um, and something like this. And I came up with Mrix the Star Ranger. It came from the ether to me. Yeah, open yourself up for stuff from other dimensions. Mm -hmm. But be, be careful. Th that's also what the End Times CCG will be about. It will teach you about the higher realms and the lower realms. And I was thinking it would be cool if this guy was also inspired by um, Alton Ashey or how his name is from War Machine and Hordes. And I was thinking of Kurt Russell from The Hateful Eight and I gave him the scar from Death Proof and I gave him a sword, sword called Lancaster and I gave him a lasso because he's a freaking cowboy and maybe he can put the sword and the lasso and do something if his gun isn't working anymore. And then I was thinking maybe he was a cowboy or a ranger or something like that in the old west. But then like John John Connor? No, John Connor is a different guy. That's a guy from Terminator. We'll come to that guy in some video later. Um, John Carpenter, also a different guy. But the music you're hearing in the video where I speed paint is the John Carpenter. John Connor, John Connor of Mars. That's the guy I'm searching for. Like maybe he's a cowboy or a lone ranger and then he jumps through a gate and uh, enters a chaos galaxy and there he becomes a star ranger. Um, somebody who cleans out maybe uh, a gun for a higher, um, something like the A-team or, or a team of star rangers. And he goes hunting for big creatures uh, like you know him in the Chaos Galaxy. And maybe he's one who comes in and makes a big boom. So. To paint up, I used some uh, cheap um, brushes, which aren't good because um, the acrylic paint will destroy them after time. Um, but well, I did my best. Um, I used a wet palette. I take this, I fill it with water to then, uh, then I put in the sponge and some baking paper, I guess. I don't know how you call it in German. It's called Backpapier. And then you put on the color on this and it stays uh, wet for a long time. It doesn't dry out. I'm using mostly the game's workshops color line. I have to say I love the colors, but I hate the bottles. They are prone to dry out and to be crusty and um, there are some here that are really really bad um, and once I was drawing this I got an idea I found a channel I will link it down below it's called uh, drawing like a sir and it's a German guy um, and he's a German and he has a German channel and an English channel and he has a million abonnants and he shows you how to draw and how to paint 
and on his channel we will come to this in a second he showed me how to make altars we will come to this in a second i will scan this and send it over to sec in a few days um it looks a bit better when it's not so bright i mean maybe it's my camera um in real life here in the physical world it looks a bit better than on the screen um and then in the night this is like my sketchbook where i'm planning to uh, draw certain stuff um, here um, I'm planning the pictures I want to do here uh, but it came to me in the night uh, this is a babe for something different um, yeah I, it came to me like a Luna Angel of Una I don't know why and maybe like an angel from Magic the Gathering I was looking at the Reese Nielsen art and uh, maybe I will take some inspiration when I draw this. Um, also see what Therese Nielsen has to offer me. And then I came up with uh, a different character called Grimex, creator of galaxies. And I was looking at this anvil and this guy like a monk. Um, he's uh, sitting there or, or, or just hovering in the galaxy in the blackness and then stars behind him and he crafts with his hands and his mind and with this uh, hot lava he crafts galaxies i don't know what this card will do but we will come up with something and i will uh, check out walter simonson for the drawing because i know he has drawn something like this in an old thor and i will look at william o'connor for the paint job william o'connor is this guy um and i will try out to draw something like this and then uh, i wanted to have some fun um because always after eating i read and that's a very good thing because um, you can uh, rest and digest and not just uh, do the things that artists do stay on the desk all day and not rest and not digest and get heart attacks Kind of kidding, but kind of not. <laughs> we'll get to that video soon. So, I was inspired and I took out the Evoli. And um, first of all, I took out the Pikachu and it looked a bit like this. And I took out my acrylic paints and you can see it on my Instagram. I put everybody everywhere a white, a white coating over the, the thing. And then I um, put in some green and some blue and then i put in some white for the heaven and yellow for the um, the flowers and it's not perfect you can see th it's not a good paint job i could have done a better job i can always go in and clean it up and maybe i will and i put this card on ebay um, and maybe i want to sell it maybe i want to get into the altering cards like magic the gathering cards or um, flesh and blood so if you need a hired gun somebody who paints you stuff and you give me money for that so i can produce more art um, i take that um, but also a great lesson take the things you have like these are just like common cards take out your acrylic paints whatever you have if you have cheap acrylic paint or if you whatever you have take the pencils and try out what you can do because like this picture here up was the original and then i mixed the colors and the color mixing was really great um, i mixed the blues and i extended the art and it's really great for just letting go letting loose trying something new like imagine i put on some white and then what do i draw here is there a city is there something else flying here are there clouds you know what i mean like just take your imagination and then i was looking at evoli and um the paint job isn't as tight um as upper he up here but i could tighten it up that's like uh, my painting skill are not yet as good as they should be but you can see here i got it kind of right and i had so much fun painting up this little guy really like really fun it was 
I had nothing to lose. I was creative. I was in the moment. And it was fun. Also, this guy, if you want to buy them, I put them on eBay. Maybe I can make money with this. <laughs> yeah. As an artist, you're always trying to find a way. How can I make money with a, in a sustainable way? How can I serve the people? If I can serve you, hit me up down below. There's my email address. Write me and ask if I can help you. You can pay me. And yeah, and after I've painted this, um, the internet didn't work, and so I couldn't work online. And then what I did, I did this. This painting was a long time ago. I started it, but I it just wasn't wasn't really uh, working. And then I had lost my fear uh, painting the Pikachu and painting the Evoli. I was in the mood to pick up color and just slap it on the painting. And as you can see, it's right now, I would say this is like 50% painted. It's missing a lot of details, but there are no white spots. I mean, there are here some white spots and here, but that's the white of the only white that will stay on the painting. And here too, because it's from from something in the picture. But I've put in the colors and now it's time to go in and as you can see here put in more skin tone and just that's the difference between drawing and painting. When you draw you make the outlines and then you fill it up with the color um, like to you put the color behind it or above it but when you're painting, you're slapping on, you're, you're crafting uh, and sculpting with your color. And you shouldn't begin with a dark tone and then put light things up because it's harder than to get, um, especially with acrylics, um, the very bright tones. As you can see here, this blue is not as bright as here because here I painted over white and here I painted over something black. But you can bring it up again with some opaque colors. I will wrap this video now up. If you need something like some card al altars or if you need some commissions or if I can help you realize a project and you like what you see, hit me up uh, on my Patreon or sign up. Hit me up on my email, on my Instagram, on my Facebook. And yeah, till soon.